Yeah, that's right, Sam. Octopus spreading its tentacles yet further. I mean, Octopus has gone from a standing start seven years ago, and with this deal today to buy Shell's residential energy uh, customer base, it is now the number two uh, supplier of gas and electricity to households in the UK. So it's quite some achievement uh, for Greg Jackson, Octopus Energy's chief executive. Uh, the deal also includes Shell's household business in Germany, which is uh, much smaller. Shell got into this market a few years back by acquiring another player in the market, but it hasn't really worked out for uh, Shell despite its vast uh, size. So it decided earlier this year that it would uh, seek to offload the business. As I say, Octopus's takeover of it, which is still subject to regulatory approval, uh, when it completes, it will give it six and a half million uh, British household uh, customers. That will make it only number two only to Centrica's British Gas. Uh, division. And I suppose it's worth reflecting that this all comes after a, a period of enormous turmoil in the UK domestic energy market. We saw dozens of suppliers going bust uh, a couple of years ago, including uh, one called Bulb, which was so big that it had to go into a form of temporary public ownership. And Octopus ended up buying Bulb out of something called Special Administration. Uh, that was one of the uh, key deals in the sector over recent years. Of course, Ofgem, the in industry regulator, has just announced a revised price cap, which is uh, lower than it was previously, but still much higher than uh, British customers were paying for their gas and electricity uh, prior to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. But all in all, this is, a, I suppose, a very positive story for Octopus, but it also gives uh, customers of Shell great certainty that they are going to continue as uh, the customers of one of Britain's biggest energy suppliers in future.